I have always loved art. It's um, been a passion, I think, from little kid on up. And um, I became a, an art teacher, taught high school for 23 years, um, did my art at the same time. I, I really enjoy drawing and painting, um, mostly in oils and, and then uh, charcoal and pencil. I am retired and this is wonderful that I get to come to my studio at the Jones Building every day um, and, and do what I want to do. Um, my background is I went to uh, Bowling Green State University and I uh, got my degree in art education. Um, I also have a master's degree in um, art education. The hardest question I think I have as an artist, you know, what am I trying to say and how am I saying it? And, in my, in a, and like any visual art, it's a communication between the viewer and the artist. And so I, I'm not sure yet. You know, I know I'm like 100 years old right now, but I'm still not sure what I'm saying with my art. I mean, I, I obviously like, um, I, like to, I like portraits, I like landscapes, but not just landscapes. I want the express, expressive part of, you know, what's the landscape saying to me? You know, I often hear people say that they, well, I'm an uneducated artist or I'm an untrained artist. And I, part of me wants to roll my eyes <laughs> and say, you know, education is, education is wonderful, but um, I mean, it certainly will show you some techniques, um, sometimes um, what to do and what not to do. But I really have to say, I love it when people just express themselves. Um, with the materials and, and sure education will help you with understanding those materials but I think for the most part it's you and it's and it's that paint or that pencil and uh, how you express yourself. Art has always been a part of my life um, right even when I was a kid I loved I know that uh, paint by numbers people make fun of them <laughs> today, but what a great way, what a great way to have, uh, to, to be introduced to art, uh, non-threatening way. I mean, certainly I've grown beyond that, but those are some of my fondest memories. Um, I, as a kid, I was encouraged by my uh, parents, and, um, and then as an adult, after my family was raised, I went back to school and uh, never thought I wanted to be a teacher, but wow, what an amazing thing to go back to school uh, in my mid-30s. Um, got my degree and luckily, happily found a job that I was able to work with kids and, and teach my passion. Once I get started on a painting, I'm just fine. But I think coming up with that idea, so, so again, bringing in the, the observation, you know, being, I guess during that time when I'm trying to figure out what am I going to do next? Um, I'm, I'm looking and I'm observing and what do, and I'm constantly asking myself, what do I love? What do I love? What do I want to communicate? You know, and, and by love, I, I might mean, you know, the color red. What does that do for me? Um, an image. Um, lately I've been into dead flowers just because, or dead nature, I guess. Not animals, but, but you know, dried up flowers. and they, I just think they're fascinating. I think there's something about them that's kind of speak to me. And um, so, so that's my process. And I'll, I'll draw it first in my sketchbook um, and then think about, do I want to use the actual colors or do I want to use another color to kind of express that idea? So I, I guess that's my process. I'm sitting here staring at a blank canvas and I've been doing that for about a month now. So um, to trying to figure out what do I want to put on that. So in the meantime, I'm drawing. I'm always drawing, doing something. The most challenging part is um, coming up with an idea. <laughs> coming up with an idea and not getting overwhelmed by somebody else, somebody else's idea. Um, and not thinking, oh, they're better than I am and I'm not that good. And um, I mean, I think all artists do that. We tend to downplay who and what we are and uh, like it's just not good enough and so so after going through all those mental gymnastics <laughs> then finally coming up with with an idea my palette is pretty um i don't like a lot of color i will um 
so it's mostly a lot of earth tones in it. And of course, if I'm doing a portrait, it tends to be more flesh tone. I'm really drawn to those, to the browns and to the blues, but, but gray blues. I like organic shapes, so I'm, I'm really, I really am drawn to those. Not so much geometric. Um, and I like, um, again, I'm really attracted to the more of the subdued colors. Although I have to say I love yellow sunflowers and I love yellow daffodils, but, um, but it's probably more the, the colors that are more subdued. That I think I heard something from Maya Angelou just a couple weeks ago where it was like, you know, what do you have to say? And be able to say it and, um, and be able to have the courage to say it. So, um, so I'm not sure, I don't know what makes it unique except that I'm, I guess I'm always searching and always trying to be open to, um, to that. Because I, I don't have a niche. I know that some people do have that, that niche. They've found that subject that they just explore and, and um, use time and time again. But I don't think I'm there yet. The best part about working with painting is just the how you can manipulate it. I feel like it's almost like it's clay and you can manipulate that paint, push it around with that, with the brush and um, just being able to just, I love, I just love the way it moves. It's the coolest art tip I think I've ever, I've, I've thought about is just, is just, or I've, I've heard um, Chuck Close is a favorite artist of mine and I think that whole idea of just persevering and, and continuing on and don't let yourself get bogged down in the uh, politics of it even um, just or you know I have to sell or I have to uh, do it because you love it that's that's what I'm that's where I'm at right now it's just do it because you love it my style has changed um, I think especially with my portraits they've gotten better um, I, I think the more I do, the more comfortable I am. I know which colors to use now that I've experimented so much. Um, tried a couple of different styles. And so, um, so that's definitely changed. Um, I'm still more of a realistic artist. Um, I try to make things represent the real world. Um, not too much into abstract. I mean, uh, just because I just, I don't know, I just don't find it interesting. I, I mean, I love colors and shapes and textures and I understand and appreciate abstract art, but mine is just more realistic. I just see myself uh, in the future just continuing to, to explore and, and work with the media um, and um, continue, to, continue to grow in my art. My advice <clears throat> is just keep on doing what you want to do. Art is not a commodity. It's, it's a personal expression. So I would just encourage people to just continue and don't worry about what anybody else says. Just uh, do what you want to do.